Hello, good morning, student. So, uh, as the same thing, uh, I want to ask you, that means you can see me and also you can listen to me or not. Okay, so from here, we got 12 students is waiting and uh, is watching. So, hopefully, you can answer me, you can see me, you can see the screen, you can see me and you can listen to me or not. Okay, so anybody here, we can just writing, typing in the chat room. Then we will know. Okay, Xuan Xuan morning, huh? Okay, can see me, ah? Okay, so from here, I want to go through today the lesson. There's a 2.4, yeah, school. Okay, there's a 2.4 in a shirt. So this one topic, just one of the short topics. They don't have any calculation. Okay, good morning, Tivash. Okay, so this one is no calculation, just one of concepts. So uh, that means later you need to find out this one concept inertia that will happen in your daily life. Okay, you can feel it. Okay, but maybe before that you will feel, but you do know what name for this one situation. So this one situation later I will introduce for you uh, about uh, the inertia that will happen for daily life. Then you can try it. Okay, you can try it after this one. Okay, so from here, this one is no calculation one. Just one of the thing to tell you. And also some example for the situation. Okay, let's see what is the inner shirt first. Okay, so first one we need to go is a concept. Lah. Okay, every time the physics, we need to know the concept, the definition for a certain concept. Okay, so from here, first one, I'm going to introduce the situation. Okay. Uh, you take the bus before, is it? So when you are standing, when you find that there's a no place to sit, you are standing. Okay, then you see the bus driver. When they saw about the, um, the cow, they block the route, they will break, is it? When they just suddenly go to break, that means what happened for the passenger? You see the passenger, when they just sit down or standing, they will go to forward. They will launch to forward. Uh, for this one situation, we call it as an inner shirt. Okay, means the situation you cannot change. Suddenly they happen, you cannot change the uh, immediately the condition. So that means you want to continue the before that condition. Then yeah, they are moving. You follow the bus to moving, is it? Suddenly the bus go to stop, but your inertia from your body they cannot stop immediately. So that's why you continue the before motion. Okay, so you still want to go. Okay, still want to go forward. So you go forward lah, finally. So this one we call it as a inertia. Okay, I think everybody feel before when you see in the car, emergency brake, then you launch forward. Okay, so from here we go to explain by words. Okay, when we just stood in the bus, okay, we start suddenly from the rest. Then we are likely to fall backward. Okay, when they start, when the bus start to move, they will go backward. Okay, because... Uh, you are uh, continue the motion is rest. Okay, you starting you want to rest, but the bus they want to move, so that's why you cannot immediately to change your situation. So you continue to rest. So that's why you will fall to backward. If the moving bus, that means the bus already move, then you continue to move ready. Then the bus suddenly they want to stop. Then what happen for you? So you find it you go forward. Okay, you cannot stop immediately. So from here, they say what causes this situation to occur. Okay, so from here, first one, they ask you uh, this situation. Uh, I think you feel before. Then they ask you why become like this. Okay, so from here, we continue. Okay, so this one is a, another diagram from a textbook also got. You can see the plate, okay, the wash that's on the table. Okay, but on the table, they still got the, uh, they want the cloth, tablecloth. So from here, you want to pull, you want to pull the tablecloth. Okay, so from here, you can think about that. How to prevent the thing to fall down? Okay, how to prevent the thing to fall down? If for your concept, you must think about, must pull faster, lor, is it? Okay, must pull the tablecloth faster. Okay, so if you pull the tablecloth to faster, so that means you find it. The wash and also the plate, the inertia, they want remain rest. 
they don't want to continue the crop to move. So that means they remain the rest. So finally, just only the table crop to take out. Okay, so we're talking about inertia of the object, not table crop. Huh? It's an object. So if I go to pull slowly, what happened? If I pull slowly, that means now the object, they got enough time already. They got enough time to change the motion. That means just now it's a resin. So you give me the time to change the motion. So that means I follow you, go to move together. So if you pull slowly, that means the blade, the wall will come down together. Okay. So from here, inertia must happen in a short moment. Eh? So the object they place on the table, there's a remain stationary, even though the table cloth is under the object, is jet by the entertainer. Okay, now, so is it this one is an inertia? So the question mark. So from here, we're talking about inertia, but now we've got two objects. One is the object is moving. Another one is the object is rest. So from here, siapa punya inertia? So who's one inertia? So from here, we're talking is a, the object you never touch. Okay, you didn't touch one, that one inertia. Okay, the thing you go to pull that one, not related. Okay, so from here, we're talking about the object on the table. Uh, that one inertia. Okay, so from here, we continue. Okay, inertia definition okay let's see the definition of the inertia inertia is the tendency of an object to remain at rest or if moving the continued is motion in a straight line at uniform velocity so that means inertia if starting is a rest they want continue rest if starting is moving they want continue the motion in a straight line Okay, so the concept of the inertia is explained also in Newton's first law of motion. So that means Newton's first law of motion actually is a big of the topics. Okay, inertia just under one of the concept from the Newton first law of motion. Okay, so remember inertia, the definition means the tendency to change the, uh, the situation. The situation we got two. One is a rest, another one is continue the motion in straight line. Okay, so now we go through the big topic. That's the Newton first law of motion. Then the inertia is under this big topic. Okay, so the bottom, we got some of the diagram. They're talking about the inertia situation. Nah. So the first one is the lady in the car, uh, in the bus. Okay, suddenly the bus, they want to move. So you see the lady, they launch to the backward. Okay, this one is another diagram. They show the driver. Okay, the driver is dry. Suddenly they hit to the wall. So you find it, the driver will be thrown forward. Because the car stopped already. The inertia of the driver cannot stop immediately. Okay, so for this one, so you can see uh, the mo motion. Okay, the, the uh, bowling ball. Okay, they keep moving. They cannot stop immediately. So this all thing, they want to block it. They also cannot. So finally, they still continue to move together. Okay, so from here, we go to the Newton first law of motion. Okay, so this one is a big topic. Inertia is under this um, first law. So we see first law is that. Newton first law, they state that an object will be remain at the rest or move at the uniform velocity unless they act by the external force. So that means they're almost same like the inertia. Lah, but you need to add at the bottom unless you got external force. If you got external force, that means I need to change. Lah. If you don't have any external force, I want to continue. Okay. So from here, you see some of the diagram here. Okay. This one is the activity 2.6. Later, we will show it. Okay. This one is one of the coin is on the cardboard. Okay. Bottom is a one of the empty glass. Okay. If I move the cardboard faster, I jerk faster. So what happened? Okay. You find it. The coin finally is never follow the cardboard to move. The coin will drop. Okay, so from here, how to explain? We explain the inertia for cardboard or inertia for the coin. Okay, so from here, I want student to answer me the question. Okay, now my question is the inertia for the coin or inertia for the cardboard. Okay, finally, we know the coin is dropped, is it? 
okay i want to know which one inertia to cause this situation happen okay you just answer me cardboard or you just answer me coin ah uh, yes correct okay who answered me already there's a coin okay inertia for the coin just now i told you already the something is forced to move that's not related okay now i forced to move is a cardboard is it the coin i never touch so there's an inertia of the coin okay Silian, correct uh the cool also correct huh? okay so from here we continue Xuan Xuan also correct okay we continue to see another diagram okay now the ball is keep moving is it okay unless you got force if not the ball will continue to move okay let's see the newton first law of motion the situation okay i go to zoom first huh? okay i go to change okay let's see here okay this one is an object at the rest okay we remain at the rest okay unless you go to kick okay the ball is rest so if nothing like if do, don't have anything unless you go to kick the ball so unless you act by an unbalanced force finally the ball will start to move agree okay then we continue to the next part okay the Ball continue to move ready. So an object in the motion will continue with the constant speed and also direction. Okay, now the ball they start to move. Okay, finally. So if you do add anything, the ball will continue to move. Okay, unless okay, unless the situation is you got net. Okay, one of the net in front there because you go already. Go in the goal. So unless they act by the unbalanced force again, now the goal they block the ball so finally the ball will stop okay so that means the first situation is rest unless you kick it okay the second situation the ball is start to move ready unless you go to stop the ball so from here the inertia of the ball okay we're talking about inertia of the ball so this one is normally for the explanation now they ask you why the situation like this so you need to explain by using the inertia Okay, then we go to the next part. Okay, this one is uh, the example for the situation I want to show you. Okay, original state is a rest. So that means when starting, there's a rest. Lah. You see what happened for the coin? Okay, just observe. Okay, I jerk the cardboard faster. Okay, so finally the coin will drop. Okay, the coin will drop into the glass. So this one situation is related to what? Okay, then we go to explain. So you can try in your house, you can try this one short activity. You see, you can uh, do the situation like this or not. So important, faster. You must jerk faster. If you just slowly, there's nothing to be happened. Okay, now we go to ex uh, see the another. Okay, this one is a diagram. So just now the situation, you go to pull the cardboard faster, then they drop. So we go to explain. Okay, observation. When the cardboard just pull away quickly, the keyword is a quickly, yeah? then the coin will drop straight into the glass. So from here, we do some explanation. Okay, the inertia of the coin maintain stationary. Okay, we're talking about the coin. Yeah? The coin, they want maintain stationary. Okay, even though when the cardboard is withdraw. Okay, the cardboard will draw faster. So finally, they want to maintain stationary. So they will fall into the glass due to the gravitational force. Okay, because of the gravitational force, to pull the coin, finally, they drop into the glass. Okay, and then we go and see the original state is motion. That means you are in motion. Okay, let's see the short video. Okay, the bus suddenly start to move. So you see the passenger where they go. They go to backward. Okay, so from here we need to explain. Uh. Okay, when the bus move, the passenger will move backward to maintain his original state. What's the original state? There's a rest. Okay, another situation is, okay, from here we can see the bus already move. 
Okay, already moved, then suddenly they want to stop. So you see the passenger, they will launch forward. Okay, they will launch forward. So from here, we just explain when the bus stops suddenly, the body of the passengers. Now we're talking about the inertia of the passenger. Eh? We're never talking about the bus because the bus is a moving one. Okay, we're talking something is affected. So from here, the passenger inertia. The body of the passenger, they got inertia. They want to maintain, okay, maintain the motion, forward motion. Finally, the bus stop, they cannot stop immediately. So they will go to forward. Okay, so these both also talking about the inertia. Okay, so from here, this one is the inertia of the passenger maintain the original state. There's an either rest or either motion. So this one is when the bus stop immediately, they will go forward. The bus start immediately, you also moving, you go backwards. Okay, now after we're talking about inertia, now we went to a relationship. Okay, the relationship between the mass and also inertia. Okay, now I got two balls. One is a bowling ball, another one is a football. Okay, so from here you tell me, when these two I want to move together, okay, which one is more easier to move it? Okay, you kick. Which one is more easier to kick? Then they go to move. Okay, you tell me your answer. Either the bowling ball, either the football. Okay, which one easier to move? Okay, you just use your leg to kick. Okay, which one easy to move? So you answer me. Football. Ah, many of you they answer me football. Okay, this one just a common sense lah. Okay, so from here, if I change another situation, I want stop. Now the ball, both of the ball already start to move. You want to stop it. Okay, which one easy to stop? Okay, you want to hold it. Okay, which one easy to stop? Is it still the same answer? Okay, is it still the same football or the bowling ball? Okay, you want to stop it. Eh? Now both ball is come to you already. So you want to stop it. So from here, bowling ball, Dylan, you very easy to stop the bowling ball. Eh? Okay, I don't using the ball as example, a fat girl, a fat boy. A uh, fat boy. Fat boy that start to run. Okay, another one is a teen boy that start to run. Okay, now run until finish line already. Okay, maybe 100 meter. Okay, they go to run. So after that, you want to stop either one. One is a fat boy, another one is a thin one. Which one is easier to stop? The fat one or the thin one? Okay, uh, so this one is another question. You tell me the fat one or the thin one. Okay, they start to move already, run very fast already. Okay, until the ending line, they want to stop. Okay, or you want to hold the thin one easy or the fat one easy? Uh, sure, it's the thin one easy, is it? Because the thin one, the mass is less. The fat one, you want to hold very hard. Okay, they want to take some time to stop it. So from here, this situation also is the same. Okay, now the bowling ball and the football, they start to move same direction, come to until the ending line. So you want to stop, football is more easier to stop. Okay, related with the mass. So from here, easy to stop, easy to move. That one is talking about inertia. Okay, so from here, the mass and inertia actually is what is the relationship. So from here, we need to find out. Okay, an object with the bigger mass is more difficult to set in motion. Or you say stop from moving as compared to the lighter object. Okay, something is bigger size. Okay, the mass is a bigger. Another one is the lighter. The size is a smaller one. Okay, there is more uh, easier to move and easier to be stopped. That one for the lighter object. So what is the relationship between the mass and also inertia? So from here, the relationship sure is a directly proportional. Okay, when the mass increase, inertia increase. Okay, when the mass decreases, the inertia will be decreases so from here you must think about what means of the inertia eh? so that's why when starting i go to introduce what's the inertia first so after that 
from here, you need to do the comparison already. Okay, mass and also inertia. Okay, now you go through the, the larger the mass, the larger the inertia. So this one is a relationship. You also can say directly proportional. Means the mass directly proportional with the inertia. Okay, so this one is a diagram. Okay, this one is an empty trolley. Okay, the mesh through it less. Lah. Then another one, the trolley full with the glossary. So you find it, this one mass increasing. So from here, we can make a conclude. Mass becomes small, inertia also becomes small. Means you're easy to pull, okay, to push the trolley. Okay, but this one is full with the glossary. You need to put more effort to push the trolley, is it? So from here, this one is a two situation. If this one, two trolley, they come down from the hill, uh, you tell me which one is easy to stop. Okay, sure, the, the smallest one, that means the no grossly one, you want to stop, this one is more easier because the mass is a less. So that's why the inertia also less. If this one, they come up from the high hill, they fall down, that means you need to put some effort to stop this one gross, uh, this one trolley because of the larger inertia. Okay, so from here, this one is another situation. Okay, we've got two buckets. Okay, join with the spring. Okay, now one of the bucket full with the set. Okay, both you also go to oscillate. So you find it, the pail, they feel with the sand, they feel more reluctant to move. When starting, you want to move the big size one, the mass bigger one. They're very hard to move. And also very hard to stop it moving compared to the empty one. So the explanation is the pale field with the sand has the greater inertia or you say mass compared to the empty one. So from here we know mass and inertia, the relationship is a directly proportional. Okay, so from here today what you need to do, you need to write a report. Okay, you got a report book, is it? So from here you need to write the experiment 2.2. Okay, this one is talking about inertia and also the mass. Okay, so from here, the first one you need to write about the inference. Okay, this one is from the textbook, inference. The inertia of the object depends on the mass. For the inference, you must talking about the RV first. Inertia now is a RV. Okay, mass is a manipulate variable. So from here, we're talking RV depends MV. So inertia of the object depends on the mass. Okay, hypothesis, we're also talking about MV first because you control MV. So we mentioned MV first. After that, we're talking about RV. So now the larger the mass of the object, so what happened? The larger the inertia of the object. So hypothesis, we're just talking about the pattern is larger, larger. Or you say, when this one like this, that one how? Uh, this one is a format for the hypothesis. Okay, how about the aim? M, you just say to study the relationship between MV and RV. Okay, depend for you. You want to mention RV first, also can. You want to mention MV first, also can. Okay, so after that, we go to variable. So from here, I want to introduce inference, hypothesis, and aim. I also mentioned inertia, is it? That's okay. Okay, but variable, we cannot mention inertia. Because from here, we cannot measure inertia. How to measure inertia? Cannot. We also cannot see is it. So from here, we need to using the time, the period of oscillation to represent inertia. So start from the variable until the end. We never mention inertia. Eh? We just mention period of oscillation. So from here, manipulate variable, there's a mass of the plasticine. Then you put the symbol. Responding variable, there's a period of oscillation. Then you put the symbol, there's a capital T. Okay, constant variable, distance between the G-clamp and also plasticine. Okay, later we see the diagram, the distance you want to clip and also the plasticine, you need to constant. Okay, a practice from here, we show using stopwatch because you measure the time, is it? So we're using the G-clamp, Lula, because Lula, you want to uh, measure the distance. You clamp how far the Lula. And also jigsaw blade. Okay, this one plasticine mass. I want you to change a little bit. Okay, don't follow your textbook. You just copy from here. 
30, 40, 50, 60 until 70 grab. Okay, so that means this one you need to copy from the textbook. Okay, then we continue from the diagram. Okay, you need to draw the diagram. So this one is a G clamp. Okay, clamp on the table. This one is a hexo. So we measure exactly there's a 20 cm. Then the plasticine you put at the end. Okay, after that, this one's a leg of the table. Okay, later you need to oscillate the hexo blade. So the setup apparatus, same like the figure. Okay, now when starting, we fix how many gram? This one is an MV. Yeah? So we fix 30 gram of the plasticine to the free end of the jigsaw blade. Okay, three. Display the free end of the jigsaw blade horizontally and also release so that the plasticine can be oscillated. So that means later the plasticine you need to oscillate. You just pull to another side with small anchor, don't too big anchor. Uh, later the hexo blade spoil already. So you just pull at the side, maybe 20 anchor, 20 degree, then you release. When you just release, you find the uh, hexo blade, they will oscillate. So you record the time for 10 complete oscillation. So we do want one complete oscillation because too fast already. So that means you pull to A, example here, pull to the A. Then after that, go back and go to the B and come back to the A. Then we count as a 1. Okay? So remember how to count the oscillation. Huh? So I write here. Okay, example here is a A. Okay, here is a B. Okay, so that means you need to start from the A, is it? You from A, you're going to pull until B. Then after that, they come back to the A. Uh, then we count this one is a one complete. Okay, from the A, you you pull this one plus you start from the A. Then you release. Then this one, you go to the B. Okay, after that, they come back to the A. Then we count this one is a one complete oscillation. So from here, you need to count how many? You need to count 10 complete oscillation. Okay, by using the stopwatch. After 10, then you stop. Okay, now you need to repeat. Repeat 3 and also the 4, step 3 and step 4. Okay, then after that, record T2. So that means for the 30 gram, we need to find twice. Okay, T1 and T2. Okay, we repeat the experiment. Why we need to repeat? Because we need to increase the accuracy. So after repeat, we need to find it's a mean value. Lah. Okay, T1 plus T2 divided by 2. Then we find the mean value. Okay, after that, we need to repeat 2 to 5. Step 2 until step 5 by using another mass of the plasticity. Okay, just now it's 30. Now we continue 40, 50, 60, and also 70. Okay, so this one is a uh, report for the procedure. Okay, after drawing, then procedure. Okay, after procedure, okay, let me see some of the video to show you uh, the actual experiment is how. Eh? Okay, so from here we go to introduce what apparatus. Okay, we got electronic balance. G clamp, plasticine, stopwatch, and also hexo blade. Okay, so from here we go to clamp the situation like this. Okay, horizontal. Then I put the plasticine at the end. Okay, then I start to oscillate. Okay, I need to count. After 10, then I stop. Okay, so this one is a reading for the 10 complete oscillation. Okay, so from here, I need to repeat the experiment lah, by using 40 until 100. Okay, 20, the situation like this. 40, 60, 80, then about 100. So from here, you can see the time taken keep increasing, is it? Okay, they keep increasing when the mass increase. Just now starting is a 5, is it? So they keep increasing until 6, 7 already, 7 seconds. Okay. So from here, this one is an example for the experiment. So I repeat again uh, so you can see very clear. Okay, introduce for apparatus. Uh. Okay, then we continue to see how they set up. Okay, just claim like this. Okay, put 20 gram plasticine. Stopwatch, prepare. Then oscillate. 
Okay, very fast one. Okay, then you just finish, then you stop. Okay, you see the time. Not yet until five. A little bit lah, more around the five. Okay, so from here, this one is the 20. Not yet five, yeah? Okay, 40 already five. Okay, this one becomes six already. Okay, six something. Okay, and the last one becomes seven. So the time taken will keep increasing when the mass increase. Okay, so we go to the next. Okay, this one is a, also another example. They're using the table leg. Okay, so we're going to see very fast one. This one video very fast. Okay, just introduce how to clamp it. Okay, G clamp, hexo, put the plasticine, 30 gram. Okay, let to oscillate. Okay, 10 times, then stop. Okay, continue, 40 gram. Oscillate 10. Okay, time taken, drop down. 50 gram, put. Then oscillate again, then drop down. And the last, 60, continue again, oscillate 10, then drop down the time taken. And the last one, 70 gram, put it, then also oscillate. Then finally, they drop down the time. So this one should be the table. Okay, you need to write in the result. Okay, but this one, you see this one is an example only. Eh? Okay, this one just measure one time. Okay, you can see they do the uh, measurement for the uh, T1 only. Just now the procedure, you must have the T2, is it? So from here, this one just example. So you need to follow the textbook, the result. Okay, after do the T1, then continue the T2. Okay, then we're going to see the following. Okay, this one is a table from your textbook. So I want you to add one more column here. Okay, I already add one more column. There's a T square. Okay, T square means later you take the T, you go to square and you find your answer. Okay, so from here you can see T1, T2. Then complete oscillation. First time you do it. Second time you do it. After that, you need to find average. So average means you take T1 plus T2, you divide by 2. Okay, after that, you need to find periods. How to find the periods? You take the T average, you go to divide by 10. Okay, because this one is a 10 complete oscillation. Period means I want 1 only. Okay, uh, okay. So 1 only, yeah. I want 1 only of the time taken oscillation. Okay, after you get T, you go to T squared. Okay, so the student, please, you... Okay, I give you T1 and T2 already. So you need to copy T1 and T2. So until the finish, then the rest you do by yourself. Okay, I don't want to do it already. So that means you find uh, the first one, T1 plus T2, divided by 2, what's the answer? Then you continue until the end. Okay, T, how to find? You take the T here. Example, this one sure 4.1, is it? 4.1 plus 4.1 divided by 2, also 4.1. So this one 4.1, you go to divide by 10. Okay, 4.1 divided by 10, this is 0 0.41. Okay, after that, you take 0 0.41, you go to square, then this one is the answer. Okay, after square, you give me the decimal point is a 2. Okay, maybe square got so many decimal points behind it. Okay, you just give me 2 decimal points, then finish. Okay, so this one table, you need to fill it. Okay, from starting, uh, the inference until procedure drawing, then from the result, then you need to prepare the table like this. Okay, then we continue. Okay, after the result, we got analyzing the data. So from here, the period of oscillation, there's a capital T of the plasticine can be determined by using the formula. Okay, how to find the periods? So you take average. Just now the average, you go to divide by 10. So you can say how to get the average. Average is a T1 plus T2 over 2. So this one is formula provided. So that means when you fill in the table, make sure you read. You read the instruction first, then you know how to find out. Okay, number two, you need to plot a graph. Okay, you need to prepare the graph paper. You help me to plot it. T square against the M. So T square must be Y axis. M is a X axis. Okay, so after that, you need to answer number three. Okay, based on the graph, when the mass of the processing increase, 
the period of oscillation of the plasticine also ah then you go answer so actually uh, here is what answer uh. anybody can give me the answer for number three okay just now i show you all the experiment example is it so can you tell me what's the result when the mass of plasticine increase the period of oscillation plasticine also ah so what is your answer increase yes siliang answer me already increase okay so from here uh the others are uh, okay dvesh also say increase okay who also say increase okay so from here we go to number four okay we go to number four okay number four is the what mass of the plasticine the inertia of the plasticine so how to answer number four okay so this one is one of the uh, relationship they want to talking about relationship so how to fill in the blank the what mass of the inertia the empty the inertia of the plasticity so how to answer it so we know directly proportional is it so normally we just answer the larger the mass of plasticine so the larger the inertia of the plasticity okay the larger larger okay yeah correct dylan more and higher also can okay so important both also increase lah for this one number four okay you need to write by yourself lah, for the discussion uh, for the analyzing okay after that we got conclusion so the conclusion is when the mass of the object increase then what happened okay anybody can help me to continue the sentence okay when the mass of the object increase then what happened? How to write this one conclusion? When the mass of the object increase, then okay. Normally, this one is referred back to the hypothesis, lah. Okay, when the mass of the object increase, okay, the higher the time, no. Okay, from here we need to go through to the hypothesis ready. Okay, we do mention the time ready. The inertia of the object increases. Yes, Ilian, correct. So when you just say when the mass of object increase, that means the inertia of the object also increase. Okay. Yes, the inertia will be also increased. Ah, Shani, correct. Ah? Okay. So finally, we just mentioned the hypothesis is accepted. Okay, is accepted. Ah? So from here we go to discussion. After conclusion, we go to discussion. Okay, how can this apparatus setup be used to determine the mass of the object? Okay, now I want to find out the mass of the object at the certain uh, time taken. Can or cannot? Actually, can. Okay, just now we do mass. We find the, uh, we find the time, is it? Now I want the body. Okay, I got time already. Can I find the mass? Okay, the answer is by using the, okay, by using the graph. What graph? Just now you plot the graph, okay, by using the T square against mass graph. So from the graph, you got one line already, is it? So that means if I want to time, I give you the time, I can find the mass or not, can. From the graph, you draw the line, look. okay, remember the uh, interpolation. Interpolation means I give you, okay, now I want uh, five seconds. Okay, five seconds, what is the mass? So you from the line, draw the line from the graph, 5 seconds. Then you draw interpolation, you go to find the mass. Okay, so from here the answer for number 1 is by using the T square against M graph. So we can determine the mass of an object. Okay, number 2, explain one precaution to improve the accuracy of the result. So the answer is repeat the experiment and find the, uh, anybody can answer me. Okay, I want to increase accuracy for this one experiment. So that's why I go to repeat the experiment. I go to find the, uh, find what? Okay, anybody can answer me. Okay, we do twice is it. We got T1, we got T2 is it. So from here, your answer is time. Okay, we find the repeat experiment, we find the what? We do twice. Actually, we want to find the time taken. Yeah, the time taken, I know time taken. We got two time taken already. 
So repeat already, we need to find what? We cannot take two times taken, is it? We need to find the one value only, is it? How to find the one value? You go to... Okay, repeat experiment and find the velocity. No. Find the yes. Ah, correct. For Cecilia, they want to find the average time taken. Okay, they want to find the average. Okay, I know that one is a oscillation time. But important, I need to know average. Okay, I do want one. I do want two. I want the both divided by two. So that's an average. Okay, so that means discussion already give you the answer. Eh? So that means from starting until discussion already. Eh? So your report. Okay, so that means your report finish. Eh? So what you need to do, you need to copy from the starting until the discussion. Okay, I think no problem. You just do into your report book. Okay, then we go through the inertia sum of the characteristic. Okay, inertia of an object that's related to the mass. The horizontal, uh, the oscillation in an inertia balance are not influenced by gravitational force. So remember, inertia is not related with the force. Eh? Your gravity, how many, they are also not related because you are oscillate horizontal, not vertical. So the period of the horizontal oscillation of the inertia balance is depends only for the mass. Okay, only the mass. Eh? The larger the mass, the larger the inertia. Okay? Okay, we see some of the effect of the inertia in the daily life. Okay, first one, you can see the hammer. Okay, I go to hit the hammer. Okay, the handle, uh, I'm not hitting the head. Uh. I'm hitting the hammer holder at the bottom. Okay, what's the function for this one situation? Okay, this causes a hammer head. Okay? Okay, Sina got question. Uh. So, how uh, about if an oscillation is vertical? Yes, it's oscillation vertical that will affected by the force. So, that means your answer is not exactly perfect. Okay, the gravity, maybe you do at the earth is okay. Lah. If you bring go to a uh, moon, that means the situation will be changes. Okay, it's horizontal, that means it's nothing happened. Okay, so this one is a related uh, from the pendulum remember for the pendulum okay pendulum they also not related for the uh the mass of the pendulum bob because pendulum bob they also oscillate vertical okay horizontal sorry not vertical horizontal so they're related for the length okay for the hexo blade they are not related for the weight they are also a vibration for the left and also the right okay what situation related for the uh for the gravity, there's a spring. The spring got related with the uh, the the gravity because the spring you are pull up and also down, is it? So that means the spring we calculate there's a weight. Okay, we never count about the mass. Okay, for the pendulum and also the inertia, this one the hexo blade, we just using mass only. We never using weight. Okay, so remember for these two situation, we never touching about the gravitational force. Okay, just a spring. Okay, before that you learn about the spring. Uh, the spring oscillate is it? That one is related with the, uh, the gravitational force. Okay, so from here we go to see the effect. Okay, this causes the hammer head. They continue to go down the motion when the handle has been stopped. Okay, you hit the handle. Okay, you hit the handle. Then the head will continue to come down after you stop. Ready, the head will still continue to come down because of the inertia. The head cannot suddenly stop. Although the handle stop already, then the head will continue to move. Continue to move, go where? Go to downwards. Okay, go to downwards. So finally, they become tightened. So that means the top of the end of the handle is slow, uh, slot deeper into the hammer head. Okay, you don't the ballet. Uh, if you do the ballet, go to hit finally, the head will on the table, then the handle come already. Okay, so we need to hit the handle. Don't hit the hammer head. Okay, then we go another one. Okay, this one is uh, the dropless. Okay, dropless on the umbrella. So from here, the rain drop on the umbrella uh, in the motion as the umbrella go to rotate. So when the umbrella is start to uh, stop to rotate, what happened? The dropless, they still to come out, is it? So the rain drop 
we talking about the inertia of the raindrop that caused the raindrop continue its motion and also leave the surface of the umbrella. Although you stop ready, but the raindrop you find it, they're still moving down, is it? So that means we call it we call it about inertia of the raindrop. Okay, next we still got some of the example. Okay, this one just now you see ready. So the passenger they are thrown backwards. Okay, when the bus rests suddenly, okay, start moving forward. Okay, then this one is the bus stop. The passenger they thrown forward. Okay, when moving bus stop suddenly. Okay, then we're going to see this one. This one, I think you tried before, the chili sauce or tomato sauce. You go to let it to come out, is it? So from here, the chili sauce or tomato sauce in the bottle, they flow out when the glass is moved quickly. You go to shake. Okay, after that, you find it, the sauce come out quickly, douse, and then you suddenly, you stop. Okay, you shake already, then you stop, is it? Then you stop, you find the chili sauce. They still come up together. Okay, so from here, we're talking about the inertia of the sauce. Okay, not about the bottle, eh? the inertia of the sauce, they cause it to continue the moving downwards. They continue to move, okay, out from the bottle. So this one we're talking about inertia also. Okay, then we still got, okay, this one is talking about mass. Okay, mass and also the inertia. Okay, so they why want to separate about the tank. Eh? Now you're going to see, eh? the oil tanker, the strut, uh, oil tanker from the strut, they're having the larger inertia because there's a big size. Then your oil also in big quantity, so you find the mass sure become higher. Mass become higher means inertia is very high. Okay, when they got accident, so you find it, the oil, the oil, they cannot stop immediately when they move together with the lorry. So that one is very, uh, very dangerous. So from here, in fact, an oil tanker truck that has its storage, Tank that divide into the several separate tank. They want to separate because they want to reduce the mass. Okay, because now they count one box, one tank by one tank. If you never separate, they count together, become one of the big tank. Okay, one of the big tank that means the mass is totally is one together. We count it. Okay, when we just separate, then we just count the mass by tank to tank. So from here, the separate tank that reduce the impact of the inertia of the petrol so like this i can reduce the inertia lah for the petrol because we count tank by tank okay okay next round is the rural coaster i think everybody tried before okay when the carriage of the lower coaster they changes the direction of the motion suddenly so you find the lower coaster must be very fast one okay they do it very fast when you turn 180 degree Okay, why you never fall down? Because very fast. The situation is very fast. Because your inner shirt, you want to continue, you want to maintain rest, is it? Okay, so from here, they say the inner shirt of the rider, they keep them in the original state of motion. So from here, you want to continue the motion. They move together, you also continue to move. Suddenly, they move 180 degree. Okay, but you never fall down. You still continue to move because you want to keep the motion. So the safety system are uh, important. They also got the safety system. Uh. So the safety system ensure that the rider remain their seat and not thrown out during the motion. Okay, so this one situation, we're also talking about the inertia. Okay, now we're going to see the safety in the car, talking about the inertia also. Okay, the first one should be the seat belt. Okay, when a car stops abruptly, the driver and the passenger in the car, they were thrown forward, is it? So that's why they got seat belt. So you need to uh, wear the seat belt to prevent from being you thrown forward and also hurt yourself. So this was why we need to wear the seat belt in the car. Okay, we do no accident when they will happen. When they suddenly to happen, that means you never bring your seat belt, then after that you will go in front, hit the windscreen. Uh, then after that what happened, we do no idea. Okay, the second one should be the head rest. The head rest. Okay, the head rest is prevent the injured to the neck during the rear end collision. Okay, another one is the inertia for the head. Remember when they start to move, okay, your head will go backward, is it? 
When go backward, you got head rest. That means you hold your neck. Okay, keep in the state of the rest when the body is moved suddenly. Okay, with the example for the F1, they start very fast, is it? When they start very fast, your body must go backward. So the head also same. So that's why they got one of the head rest to prevent your neck. Your neck will be injured. So this one is a function for the head rest. Okay, and the last one should be the airbag. Okay, everybody know about the airbag. An airbag that fit inside the steering wheel. Okay, it's provided the cushion to prevent the driver from hitting the steering. Okay, or you say about the touch box. Okay, the touch box and also steering is a hard material. So after that, they will come out one of the airbag. So it becomes soft of the cushion. So that's why you hit the cushion. Okay, can reduce the uh, injured for your face and your body. Okay, so today the explanation about inertia just like this only. Just a simple of the concept. Okay, important you need to know the definition. Number two, there's a Newton first law of motion. That's a related with the inertia. So you need to know how to explain about the inertia and also the mass. What is the relationship? So today you need to fill, uh, finish your report first. Okay, write the report in the report book. And also I need to give you the task okay the task is a 2.4 tutorial i already upload in the gc okay google classroom so you need to go there and download okay today also got the google form you need to fill in okay for the uh, attendance today so what's the code okay anybody go in already they ask about the code is it so the code for today is the okay you have me to type that uh, Okay, anybody fast one example here is a Siliang. Siliang very fast one, is it? Okay, you help me to type hashtag. Hashtag, then inertia. Capital letter inertia 2021. Okay? Okay, don't, don't copy and paste. Huh? Yeah, many students, they ask me. <coughs> Why copy and paste after that in the Google form? They're wrong. Okay, better you type. Okay, better you type, uh. don't, yeah, correct. Okay, so uh, I'm going to pin here. From the ceiling, they type for me already. Hashtag inertia2021. <coughs> okay, excuse me. So from here, the student don't copy and paste. You need to type yourself, okay, into the Google form. Okay, so that's the today attendance. Uh. I'm going to pin ready. Hashtag inertia2021. No spacing. Okay, all capital letter. Okay, so you also need to download this one today task. Okay, one more thing to tell you. The Thursday, I will crash, is it? Crash to the form 5. So uh, this uh, week, I will continue the form 5 lesson. So that means I will give you the uh, the task. Lah. I'll give you the homework you need to do. Okay, the homework must be related before that, the chapter. So hopefully, uh, you go to download again. I will tell you, okay, what's the homework? After that, you just go to download. Okay, so from here, the student, for science 3, many of you never pass up the file. Hopefully, you pass up, okay? Because I already take back already. Lah. So that means you want to pass up, you also need when the school is open. Lah. Okay, I already take back just how many students only pass up the file. For science 2 is more than for science 3. Okay, so from here we find it. Okay, finish our class. So the student, just thank you for watching. Lah. Okay, hopefully you understand what means of the inertia. So if you've got any problem, okay, do know how to apply, then you can PM me. Okay, so the student, just thank you for your watching. Okay, so we got how many attendance? So later I will check. Lah. Hopefully you can key in your attendance. Oh, the password still wrong. The password is hashtag inertia2021. Ah. Okay. Uh, anybody here can answer? Hashtag 2021. Okay. Why Chong Yanzhi? They say wrong already. Okay. You're going to type first. Later, I'm going to check. Ah. Okay. Just thank you. Okay. Bye.